In this video, I want to get a little bit back to our roots. We haven't been talking about day trading much lately in the E-mini S&P, and so I wanted to cover that this morning as the market had a beautiful uh, morning on the E-mini S&P and ran like crazy for us. And we've been watching the E-mini S&P as we've been looking more a little bit at these uh, E-mini micros. And so I want to do a little comparison for you and show you the E-minis and the E-mini micros and the difference between the two today. But I want to first tell you a little story about an old gentleman that I met uh, oh, it must have been 20, 25 years ago, 20 years ago, probably when I was back in Chicago. I was back in Chicago speaking at a trade show, and after the trade show, there was a, uh, an old gentleman who was sitting on the sidelines, and I kind of went down and sat next to him, and I probably told this story to you before, and you probably heard it if you have. Just bear with me. I'll keep it short. But I went and talked to this old gentleman. I wanted to hear from some of these old guys that have been around forever and just talk to him about the markets and what they knew. I was just kind of a young guy, just getting back into it. Uh, and I wanted to uh, hear his perspective. And so I asked him, I sat down next to him after I'd given my speech. And I, you know, I asked him, what, what do you think of what I just said? And he kind of, he kind of looked at me and smiled and he goes, you young guys, he goes, he says, I keep it simple. He says, my trading strategy is very simple. Uh, and he says, I'm a floor trader, been a floor trader my whole life or my whole adult life, he said. Uh, and what I do is I just go in and I, I, I go into the floor and I wait until the the market opens and I watch the first couple of minutes and see which direction the market's going to go. And he goes in the general trend of the direction. He says, I'll buy the, the market or I'll sell the market, take a short position. And he says, and I'll just hold it for the first half an hour to an hour and just wait for the market to turn around and start to slow down. And then, and then I'll get out and I'll be done for the day. He says, that's all I do. Every morning it's either a buy or a sell on the open. I hold it through the trend for until the market starts to come back uh, against me, and then I get out, and I'm done for the day, and I walk out. He said, I don't trade anything after the first hour of the day, and I only make one trade in the morning. That's it. Buy or sell. So I, I always thought, you know, that's the most simplest format, uh, the simplest trading strategy that I've ever heard. And, uh, you know, I, I, I look at today's market, and, I, and it reminded me exactly of that old gentleman and the way he would trade. Because he would just come in, First thing in the morning, he would buy on the open or sell on the open, depending on the direction of his signal. And he would just hang on to it for the first 30 minutes to an hour. And that's exactly what happened today. This market took off and started to run on the open. We got our opening bell signal. And uh, then the market started to run. And if I draw my dollar calculator in here, just from where the, the arrow's pointing to the blue light crossover for the exit, that was a $1,000 move. Of course, that number doesn't represent commissions and fees. That's just a trend calculation from entry to exit. And if we come over here and look at the key, the key tells us on this E-mini S&P that we would need to have $500 in our account to make that trade, to put that trade on. And so for $500 and uh, the first, what is that, a first hour of the market trading, uh, hour and a half, that market uh, turned into 1025 Now, after that, the market just kind of turned and kind of has just gone sideways. So it was a more of a correction. And again, that's why this guy kind of, uh, popped into my head when I when I was uh, looking at this market and following it this morning. And because he just buys on the open, whichever direction it goes, hangs on to it for the first 30 minutes to an hour, and then he's done for the entire day and he goes home. And so he keeps it very simple. And if we just keep it simple with that type of a trading strategy, this morning would have been a very uh, nice day for us, as you can see. Uh, and if we come out here to the two-minute chart, I want to kind of point something out uh, regarding the Heisenberg strategy, which is what we're kind of talking about here. The market kind of opened up this morning, gave us the the the, the uh, buy signal from the bulls and bears uh, to be bullish today. And you see that came in at 710, but the market doesn't actually open. The stock market doesn't open until 730. And so you can see this little spot right in here where the market got a little bit wild. That's where the stock market opened up. And if you if you miss this first signal at 7.10 and was waiting for the 7.30 signal or an opportunity to get in the market, you might have missed this first run right in here, which is pretty common. Uh, we oftentimes miss that first run. But this blue light comes in here, and the beautiful thing is, is the blue-white light, when it breaks like that, it gives you the second opportunity for entry. So this is our first drive this morning, and then we got the break and the re-entry. Of course, we attach our stop to the blue lights, and we start to trail until we get a, a crossover and a re-entry back into the market once again. And then, of course, this market ran all the way up to the peak right in here. And so if I draw the dollar calculator in there, just from the blue light, 
to the exit of the blue light. That's an $850 move this morning. Again, on a $500 investment. That number doesn't represent commissions and fees. And so now as we come across here, and the market's just kind of going sideways, it's a little bit lazy, uh, we're out of the market at that point, waiting for another opportunity, or as the old gentleman said, he's gone home. And so this is kind of the first trade. Now this is the 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 first trade of the day and I want to come down here and I want to show you something else this is the E mini S&P this is the most popular market for us to trade when we day trade but I also want to come in here and I want to show you the E-mini micro. Now these are brand new and they're wonderful. Oh, we all love the E-mini micros. And I want to show you something down here. If we come down to the range bar six, you're going to, of course, get the exact same uh, trend in here. And if I come in here and just draw this out for you, you can see that this is the opening and we got the red arrow. And then, of course, the exit is right here with our trailing stop on the blue light. If I draw my dollar calculator in here, you can see from the entry point from where that uh, arrow came in to the exit of the blue light, that's $100. Now that's the difference between the E-mini micro and the E-mini S&P. The E-mini S&P, remember that move from that point was $1,000 and on the E-mini micro it's $100. That's because the E-mini micro is one-tenth the size of the E-mini. So if you've ever been worried about the size of your trades or this is too big of a market or it's too dangerous to get in and do this day trading stuff and to try this stuff out and get my feet wet um, and you've been enjoying doing it maybe in the in the uh, the demo account we've got a lot of people who who have been demo trading and trying out the software and doing this day trading but feel like the e-mini S&P might be just a little bit uh, beyond them or a little bit big of market we now have the e-mini micros and the e-mini micros one-tenth the size and so that entire run this morning was a hundred dollars and of course if we come over here to the key you can see that to have uh, put that trade on uh, you'd have only needed to have $100 in your account and so that's a nice market to trade uh, and and I and I and at first I want to say for beginners but this is a great market to trade for advanced traders as well because you have the control of coming in and trading with multiple contracts simultaneously so you don't have to get in with just one if you would have got in with 10 contracts you'd be in equal the same size as the e-mini S&P right 10 contracts would have been exactly the same thing you'd have made a thousand dollars on the same uh, position so if we come down to the e-mini micros and we want to start trading with multiple contracts we can add on to positions uh, we can subtract from positions we can get in with three contracts and still be you know one-third the size of the e-mini S&P and we can start trading that way and uh, have a lot more control over our leverage in the market using multiple contracts and still not feeling like we're you know betting the farm and so I just want to bring that to your attention this morning a beautiful market reminded me of my old uh, well I didn't really know the guy so I can't call him my friend but an old gentleman that I met uh, a very long time ago who said you know the simplest strategy is just to buy or sell on the open sit through it for the first uh, hour and be done for the day and that's kind of a great day trading strategy and that's how that market worked out today so if you have any questions please let me know I'm here for you my email address lhturner at tradementors.com and uh, I wish you the best of trades hi my name is Land Turner and if you enjoyed this video and would like to learn a little bit more about day trading these Fibonacci and Elliott wave patterns as I've exampled here stop by my website at www.tradementors.com where you can access my free Heisenberg day trading course where I teach you exactly how to trade using the red light green light system intercept orders the blue light system and much more it's free Stop by and learn how to make this happen for yourself.